so guys uh, the first one was arithmetic operators this is comparison operators now we have a like operator these arithmetic operators comparison operators mostly work great with numbers but what if you want to work with characters okay so we have a dedicated operator for characters and one of them is like operator this is very important guys now assume you want to select all the employees whose name starts with a maybe whose first name starts with a so how would you select it select star from because i specified select all the employees so whenever in a question whether it is your certification or whether you're working on a client if the question says select all the employees then it always means select star okay you can blindly use this method so my question was select all the employees where their first name starts with a so i'm using select star from hr dot employees where first underscore name like because we are using character it's a character column right it stores characters we will ha have to use the single quotes so where the name like a percent now give me a minute before i explain what the percent means let us audit the output can you see all the first name starts with a and we have how many 10 records in the output so what is this person that means the first character would be a and percent means there can be anything after a now it doesn't matter whether after a you have b m l n l d l l l l l oh okay that was such a great coincidence <clears throat> So with this percent, it means after A, there can be anything, okay? So the first name, like, the like operator allows you to give a variance. It, it gives you some flexibility in choosing the output, right? But if you know the exact first name, then what you do? There are two things you can do. Select star from hr.employees, where first underscore name, like you give the complete name it can be Amit always remember guys when you give the value inside the quotation marks it has to be the same value in the same format it is stored inside the database okay now we see that the format in which it is stored is A is capital so I'm giving the same over here now let me run this query we got the output right or if you completely know the name you can also use the comparison operator so rather than using like you can use equal to right so where first name equals smith we get the same output right so this like operator if you know the complete name you can definitely give the name if you don't want to use the like operator if you know the complete name you can use the equal to operator and like also gives you flexibility to kind of like select data in a different way when it comes to character columns so i want to select all the employees in which the second character of their name is a okay so let me write the question for you guys so select all employees where second character of their name is a right we we just I, i'm kind of like building some scenarios for you so how will you select in this case so select star from hr dot employees P L O Y E E S where first underscore name like 
Now, what will happen if I specify it like this? Percent a percent. So let us debug our where clause and try to understand this part. Okay. So what happens when you use percent? Percent means anywhere in the entire direction in in one particular direction. Okay. Now over here, the first character was a right so where the first name like a that starts with a and after a there can be anything a, any alphabet or any format till the full length of the data right so in the first name it should start with a and then there can be anything but in this command what we are saying is there can be anything then if a can be found it's great and even after a there can be anything that means any name which contains a will be our output if we use this command right and if i am using this command where i put a percent in the beginning then what will i get all the names where there is anything in the beginning but it ends with a right so these are different commands, but our scenario is different. I want to select all the employees where the second character of their name is A. In this case, you cannot use the percent. There is another operator that is given by Oracle where you will you can actually specify the exact location of the character. Now, in this case, if you use underscore, that means the first name can have one character. One underscore means one character. That can take any value. There can be anything in the space, but only one character. Okay. And next character should be A. And after A, there can be anything. Okay. So that's how we use the underscore. Let's take if. I want to select all the employees where the fifth character or I think we'll go with the fourth character. Fourth character of their name is J. So how will my where clause change? Let me copy this one. So the fourth character that means we will have to give three times underscore. So three characters can be anything exactly three characters so if you want to specify one single character that can be that can be any character then you will have to use underscore later on you will have to use j and then percent after j i don't care there can be anything it can be nothing it can be the end of the name or there can be anything after j right so these two wild cards we actually call them wild cards cards we have percent and we have underscore so let us run our query what is our query in the first name i want a at the second position so before a there can be one single character it can have any value and after a there can be anything so in this case what i want to do is i will put a in the small case because we know that only the first character is capital and rest all is small. So now let me run this query and see whether we get some output. Okay, so we'll have the connection reset error. Just click on okay and it should run the query. We got the output and the output is exactly what we were expecting. The first name, we are not bothered about the first character that's why we have an underscore that means one single character can take anything so we have d v n d k m and the second character we wanted a so if you see all these names the second character is a right let me scroll down so we see 32 employees where the second character of their name contains alphabet a and after a we are not bothered whatever number of characters or whatever name they have after a 
so we use percent right so this like operator will only work with character columns with numbers we already know that we have arithmetic and comparison operators but with characters you always have this like operator and within like operator we have two wild cards one is percent and one is underscore guys this is very important when it comes to certification point of view they will give you a lot of queries which will confuse you but stick to the ground rules okay when it comes to underscore one character when it comes to percent x number of characters that means there can be anything now let us try to play around with this a little more to understand how it works so i want to see an employee name where it contains y in the third position so so we need two underscores and then we need y in the third place and then percent that means anything after y let us run this one and see if we have any employee so you see we have four employees where exactly at the third position you will see you have y okay now that doesn't mean you can only specify one single value inside this now assume i want to see an employee whose name starts with p and exactly at the third position there is y and after y there can be anything so let us run this command and see so we have this pay payam i don't know how to pronounce i think that's how it is so this payam this guy i think it actually satisfy our query let us get it into the notepad so we see the name starts with p after that we can have exactly one character it can be anything that's why we are using underscore and after that one character we want y and after y there can be anything so we are using the percentage